Hello friends and welcome to this tutorial on how to manage your garments shop with Mark software. Firstly we will create a new company by pressing the F2 function key and define the name as garment shop and fill in the other details like address, phone number, branch code And in company type, we will select size wise inventory because size wise inventory is maintained in sale and purchase. So that's why we'll select here size wise inventory. Press enter and then we'll save this. And our company garment shop has been created. So first we'll turn certain options on from control room for which we will go on masters, mark setups and enter on control room and in search in all we will search for category so here we have this field salt wise stocks slash search we can change or edit its name suppose we change this to model and keep this category now we will save these settings and enter on yes and we'll go on masters inventory master and enter on item master from here we will create a new product while creating a new product you can scan its barcode if you want if my barcode is size wise so whenever I will purchase a new item so it will ask for barcode and if my barcode is master wise so it will ask in master itself suppose I want that my barcode is size wise So for that, in control room, search in all, I will search for barcode. So here you see this field, item working style. So now it is set to R, means batch wise barcode. And if you want it to be master wise, then you will set this to B. And if I want my barcode to auto generate, then we will set this field to Y. Now we will save these settings. Now we will go on masters, inventory master and enter on item master. Then we will feed the product name as t-shirt and unit pieces. In fast search I can feed a shortcut name or a code like 123. So whenever I will search for 1, 2, 3 in items list, then this item t-shirt will be displayed. Then comes group. As I set this to no, then the list of groups will appear. To create a new group, uh, we'll press the F2 function key. And uh, now I'll name the group as menswear. Then we'll save this. Similarly, we will select no for model and press the F2 function key to create a new model and name it as we want then we'll create category and now we'll name it as summer then we can feed the other details like MRP rate, purchase rate then we'll enter on yes then the size window will appear I'll select small and medium means this t-shirt is available in small and medium sizes now we'll save this similarly you can create multiple items now let's see how can you purchase an item for that you will go on transaction purchase and enter on bill and select the name of the party from whom you will purchase for now we will select cash feed the bill number and select the item which you want to purchase then a cursor will switch to size if you want that all the sizes are displayed all together on the screen so that I don't have to manually select it like by pressing enter and selecting a particular size manually 
so to facilitate that a provision is available now suppose apart from small and medium large size t-shirt is available so you can directly press escape and type here L else you can press enter and select from the defined sizes like now I select M and feed the MRP press enter define the quantity I'll define 12 because I'm purchasing 12 t-shirts of medium size and the purchase rate is 100 rupees you can define discount if you want now we'll create a sale bill by going on transaction sale and enter on bill here you see the window of available stock shows where you have 10 pieces of small size t-shirt and 12 pieces of medium size t-shirt available now if I want to do barcode wise billing then you'll go on the items window and select your item press enter and see that the barcode of size S is 1001 so whenever I will scan the barcode of S size t-shirt that is 1001 then the S size t-shirt will automatically load now we'll save this by pressing the end key so in this way billing will be done now if you want that the name mobile number and other details of the customer can be fed while creating his bill so that in future you can recognize or search that customer with his mobile number so for that you will go on control room and search for detail so here you will find this field retail billing required one chemist two supermarket slash others so I'll set this to 2 then we'll save this then in transaction sale you will find bill retail then press enter now as we press enter the list of ledgers will appear now what I want is that the software doesn't ask me to choose a ledger for whom I want to create bill I want to directly feed the customers name over here so for that I will go on control room and search for retail and set don't ask ledger's name in retail billing to yes now again we'll go on bill retail so here you see the software didn't display the ledger's list you can directly feed the customer details by pressing the left arrow key enter enter I will feed the customer name as Mr. Verma enter and feed the address then feed mobile number and remark if you want then we will create his sale bill of small size t-shirt of 1000 rupees now we will save this by pressing the end key then you can select mode of payment now I have received 1000 in cash you can receive payment in credit card as well now I will press the end key and save this bill next time if the same customer comes for buying so I can feed his mobile number and see the other details have automatically loaded now I would like to tell you that in Mark Software there are more than 1500 sale purchase report available like here you have reports menu available where you have sale analysis in which you have consolidated sale book, sale book, monthly summaries, item wise sale you can see party wise sale, group wise sale you can view discount statement then in daily reports menu you can see sale report and purchase report you can see stock report 
you can fill VAT and ST forms and view complete accounting reports from here. From here you can do multi-ledger printing and multi-bills printing. You can send emails. You can analyze budgets. So you can use Mark software for all these works. After that there is printer setup through which you can configure your printer. If your printer is a laser printer then you can set laser printer or you can set thermal printer or dot matrix. You can print barcode and labels from Mark software and you can maintain inventory store wise and if you want that in one store certain goods are stored and in the other store certain other goods are stored so you can maintain store wise inventory in garment sector so in this way you can completely use this software for garments trade thanks for watching